Welcome to my switching routing and wireless essentials course. This should be the CCNA version 7 curriculum. This is the second of three courses. Welcome. In this lab, we're doing 13.4.5 troubleshooting wireless LAN issues. This is going to be one of more of the skill challenge based labs. We're going to be essentially going through and troubleshooting and trying to figure out what's happening and how we can fix it. So first thing I want to do, like I always do, is I want to go ahead, I want to jump on my PC, and I want to, uh, there's a web server. So I want to go ahead, I want to browse my web server. 123.netacad.pt. So that doesn't seem to work. I'll give it a minute just to make sure. All right, it didn't pop up, so I'm gonna type an IP address. Because these are resources that should be available. All right, it clearly is not. So I'm gonna go to my terminal. Sorry, I'm gonna go to my command prompt. Can I ping that web server? 203.0.113.78. Well, I can't do that, so. Can I ping my router? My default gateway is 192.168.0.1. I can ping my gateway, that's good. My router's uh, internet interface is DHCP, so I don't quite know that. What about on router zero? We have our cloud, the cell part of our home network, home network, radius server. So I can go to this side, but I can't leave that side. So can I access the web portal for my home router? And that would be 192.168.0.1. Uh, it says that our home network, that's our wireless, to access our home wireless router, the username and password are both admin. All right, so first thing I do when I get log in is I notice that my internet says DHCP, however, I see internet uh, configured as a static. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to DHCP. Save those settings. And I wanna see if I can now ping my, my web server. So still timing out. So I'm going to give it a minute or two, see if it's actually functioning or not. Oh, and there it is. So I can now ping the IP address of it. Can I ping the domain name? 123.net cad.pt. So netacad.pt is using our domain name. So Let's see if our DNS is actually functioning. It doesn't look like our DNS is functioning. So, can I ping my DNS server? 10.100.100.255.0.1 DNS, yeah, 10, 100, 100. So I can ping my DNS server. I just can't ping my domain name. So that tells me I need to keep looking at my home router. Maybe my DNS settings are incorrect. 
Well, static DNS, oh, that says 250, but my address chart says 254. So that definitely could be an issue. Go back to my terminal. Let's see if it actually has the proper information now. So it's still showing a 250 DNS server. I'm going to go to my IP configuration. I'm going to go back to static, go back to DHCP, get a new address. And now it's showing my proper 254 address. Back to my terminal. And I'm going to try pinging it again. Now that I refreshed it and it's using the proper DNS server, it should function. So we found two issues so far. The internet app interface was static when it should have been DHCP. DNS server was incorrectly configured. And now my laptop can actually communicate. So next I'll do my smartphone. Ping.netacad.pt With our smartphone, by pinging our web server, it will let us know if our DNS is functioning, if our address portion is functioning, and if we can access the internet. Well, it's not popping up, so go back to my IP configuration. It probably still has the old 250 DNS server, so I'm going to refresh that. Get my new IP information. Go back to my terminal. Try it again, and it is working. So internet's working, and DNS resolution is working. So DNS issues on the laptop, the smartphone, more than likely is also going to be on our tablet. So, oh. Our tablet didn't even have an address configured, so I'm going to set my tablet to DHCP. It has the appropriate DNS and address information. Get to my terminal, ping my web server, 123.netacad.pt. All right, so we found three issues on our home side. Now we can start looking at the issues on our enterprise side. We know that there are six issues, three on the home, three on the enterprise side. So we're going to be logging into our wireless LAN controller. Here's the username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on my admin PC, get to my, my web portal, and I'm going to navigate to the wireless LAN controller's address, HTTPS slash slash 192.168.200.254 and again log in admin and it's cisco123 it's a little slow so be patient in fact I want to make sure that yep, it's cisco123 So first thing I see is there's two networks, wireless VLAN 10, that's using pre-shared key, and wireless VLAN 20, that's using WPA2 Enterprise. So once I log in, I want to make sure that my wireless LANs are there. I should have two, one for pre-shared key, one for Enterprise. And again, because we're using Packet Tracer version 8, the wireless LAN controllers are a little slow, so be patient. First thing I notice is wireless VLAN 20 is currently disabled. So I'm going to go ahead and get that enabled. Sad, we got to be patient with it. All right, I'm gonna pause and just wait. All right, so it finally came up. I'm gonna go ahead and enable it and apply it. 
While I'm here, I notice the security profile is using WPA2 auth 802.1x. That's good. I want to go back to my wireless controllers. And I want to double check my VLAN 10 just in case. So, I'm going to expand out the window. Oh, WPA 2 auth 1 802.1x VLAN 10, it said was using a pre shared key. So, that means the second error for our enterprise was the misconfiguration of VLAN 10. Alright, so it took a few minutes, but it finally let me in. I'm going to be unchecking 802.1x. I'm going to be checking pre-shared key. And my pre-shared key is there. All else fails, we can check our wireless LAN information. The pre-shared key should be using Cisco 123. Cisco 123. I'm going to apply it. I'm going to give it a minute. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save the configuration. So first thing I notice is that my laptop one connected once I set up the pre-shared key on the wireless LAN controller. So laptop two should be connecting to VLAN 20. So I'm going to go to my desktop, go to my PC, uh, wireless connectivity. This one actually had a wireless profile. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it. SSID is 20. That's fine. Advanced setup, infrastructure mode. That's fine. Wireless set is fine. It's using WPA2 Enterprise. That's fine. Uh, the username is user2 not user 20. I'm also going to check the password. User 2 pass. Save it. Connect. And you'll notice it shows 100%. Lab is complete. So the six errors. There were three on the home side. That was the internet being static when it should be DHCP. The DNS issue, DNS had to be resolved on all three devices. The DNS also had to be updated on the home router. The three issues on our network or our enterprise LAN side was misconfiguration of the wireless LAN controller. Wireless LAN 20 was turned off. Wireless uh, LAN 10 had 802.1x checked when it should have had PSK checked. And then laptops uh, one had no issue, laptop two had an incorrectly configured username. Check results just to make sure. Everything is checked, so we are good there. Questions or anything? Let me know.